friends and welcome back. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Callie Bransford. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing some of my favorite hacks and products from the Dollar Tree that just make being a woman a little bit easier. Just things that I think every woman should know that you can do for only a dollar. Let's do this. Okay, we're gonna start with some things that are for organizing the closet. Now, I am pretty good about being minimal with my clothing and my wardrobe, but I still find that closets and wardrobes and dressers can get disorganized and they can get messy. And your wardrobe is really only as effective as it is when it is organized. Like when it's disorganized, it's, more, it's not really doing what it needs to do for you. First product that you should know about that you can get at the Dollar Tree are these. These are scarf hangers. They're basically just hangers with five openings. These ones, I love the Dollar Tree ones actually because they have like the circle openings and then they have these little hooks too. So they really work for like every kind of scarf and you can hang your scarves in here vertically and then you're literally taking up like the tiniest bit of closet space to hang all of your scarves. For me, scarves are one of those things that it's really hard to find a place to put them. They just sort of end up like balled up in like the back of the closet, like in a basket and then you can't see them all. I love this because you can hang them all at once and you can like literally pull it out and see all of your scarves at once. My next trick, I'm gonna share with you a way that you actually can get double the space out of your hangers. I feel like a lot of closets have like unused vertical space. And a really easy way around that is to just use some type of hook. You're gonna put it over the top hanger and then you're gonna hang the second hanger through that one. And you can literally do like four or five deep if you want. And this is just gonna save so much space in your closet. It helps keep like items together. I just love that because you're making the most use of your vertical space and you're just making more use of your closet space to help keep it more organized. Okay, next up for one of my biggest pet peeves about closets is when you're hanging things on hangers that have like straps or they're really loose tops and they're always falling off of the hanger. A really easy hack is just to use some pipe cleaner you can get these right in the craft section at the Dollar Tree and wrap one at each end of a plastic or a metal hanger. This is going to act as a no slip guard. Whatever clothing item you put on your hanger, it is not going to slip off of the hanger and it's going to save you like hours of frustration of tank tops falling off the hangers and ending up at the bottom of your floor. Literally one of my biggest closet pet peeves. All right, ladies, next time you are in the Dollar Tree, head over to the tool section and get yourself one of these carabiners because they are the best thing for storing all of your hair ties. I don't know what it is about hair ties. I feel like hair ties and socks like got together and they're like, do you just like, do you want to disappear randomly and then never be found again? And they were like, that sounds like an awesome, what an awesome idea. So instead just take all your hair ties, your scrunchies your whatever, Keep them right on a carabiner. You can put these right inside of a drawer because it's a carabiner, you can literally like clip it somewhere and you're gonna have all your hair ties all together in one place. It's literally the best hair tie storage uh, option around and it costs you a dollar. All right, well, we're on the topic of hair. The Dollar Tree is actually a great place to stock up on some essentials that you need for your hair. So one thing that I love getting at the Dollar Tree is just little cushion brushes. These are a dollar. They work as good as like any other cushion brush. I'm one of those people, like I have my nice wet brush that I use when my hair is wet out of the shower that I keep upstairs, but I need brushes other places in my, I got like a lot of hair and I feel like I need uh, brushes other places in my life. I always want one in my downstairs bathroom. I feel like it's helpful to have one like in my bag or in my car for when my hair gets tangled, especially this time of year as we're getting into winter, wearing coats and sweaters, my hair gets so tangled. So I love these cushion brushes from the Dollar Tree to just keep like in my extra bathroom to keep one in the car or whatever. So I always have one when I need one. And actually they also even have the little folding brushes. I feel like I hadn't had one of these since I was like in high school and I kept it in my backpack because I thought it was cool, but it's actually the most genius little product ever. It literally just folds up into a tiny little compact. It takes up no space. And then when you're ready to use it, you just open it and you pop it open like so. And you have a little brush to get rid of any tangles. Like I said, this is just the time of the year that like I'm wearing hats or I'm wearing jackets with hoods and my hair gets really tangled and it's so nice to just have something really quick that you can grab and you can brush really quick so you don't need to spend more than a dollar just get these little guys right in the hair section at the Dollar Tree other products from the Dollar Tree in the hair department that are amazing are just like their hair accessories they have literally the cutest little decorated um, barrettes and decorated bobby pins I feel like every time I go they have different options I found these really cute little gold ones with like pearl detailing I mean for like 50 cents each these are so cute they're also a great place just to get your standard bobby pins no point in spending more money they also sell little hair clips like these guys. I love these when I am curling my hair or I just want to clip my hair up really quick because I need to wash my face. These are great to keep around and I feel like eventually, even when you buy the nice ones, eventually they get lost or they get like stolen. 
they don't get stolen. I don't think are they getting stolen. I don't think anyone's stealing them. You know what I mean? They get lost or they break or whatever. It's not really something I want to spend a lot of money on. So I just want them to be around when I need to throw my hair up really quick or I need to section my hair off because I'm styling it. Another thing I always like keeping around are the little elastic rubber bands. When I'm doing any sort of like braided hairstyle on my hair, I like these little guys because I don't like having a big chunky hair elastic at like the bottom of one of my braids. Um, but these are pretty much one time use. It's like once you use them, you throw them away. So eventually you run out. Um, so I always keep those around and when I'm almost out, I always restock on these. They're also great for just regular old ponytail like hair ties as well. They have like every variety that you could want, which I love because I feel like I feel like we're all very particular about our hair ties. I mean, we have specific kinds that we want depending on our hair type, our hair length, whatever. Personally, if I'm going to do just like a ponytail or a bun, I like these thicker ones and it's the scrunchy brand. You can buy these like at Target and at your local pharmacy. And I guarantee that the scrunchy brand hair tie anywhere else is gonna be a, at least more than a dollar. Um, and so I love to stock up on these guys too. Another thing that I've also recently found at the Dollar Tree that I actually really like is some of their headbands. I bought one of these, I think I showed it in a recent video. Um, I bought one of these and it's actually like really cute. It wears really nice, it's super comfortable. And I've bought like more expensive headbands and been disappointed by them. So another hair accessory that's just really great to check out when you were at the Dollar Tree. Another hair product that I recently discovered, I just picked up another one, is this shampooing massager. I'm one of those people now, I wash my hair once a week, every seven to eight days, sometimes it's been nine. And a big reason that I'm able to do that is one, I've trained my hair to go that long. And I will link a blog post down below about how I go a week without washing my hair, if you're interested. Some of it is that I've trained my hair, but the other part is then when I do wash my hair, I wash it really, really well. And some of that just has to do with making sure I'm really like massaging in at the roots and I'm getting my roots as clean as possible. Um, and so I've actually been using this guy recently because it just makes it so much easier. It really ensures that I'm getting the product into the roots of my hair and I'm getting my scalp nice and clean. It's gonna get all that build up, any like oils, any product that builds up at the roots and just makes your hair feel dirtier. This works really well it gets my hair cleaner and it makes my hair stay clean longer. All right, we are going to move on to makeup. Yes, some Dollar Tree makeup is worth it. I've actually slowly, like this entire year, been testing tons of different Dollar Tree makeup. My general rule with the Dollar Tree makeup is that none of it is necessarily so bad. I just find that like for a few more dollars, I can usually get a product that's either a bigger product or it's just a product that wears a little bit better as far as longevity. A lot of the issues I've had with Dollar Tree makeup is that it just doesn't like last on your face all day long. That being said, I have found some makeup products that are worth it. Now, the first thing I'll say is every time I am in the Dollar Tree, I always give a scan of the makeup section. And that is because you never know what you're gonna find. Typically the makeup section is like kind of a complete mess and you gotta just like take, you know, take an extra five minutes and really go through, look in the little buckets underneath cause stuff falls down under there. Look on all of the shelves, look on all of the hangers because they typically will have their usuals, but occasionally they will get in name brand products and then we'll have it mixed in with the makeup. So always make sure you give it a good once over. One product that is always in stock, however, I find is the e.l.f. Um, brushes. I love the e.l.f. makeup brushes. Typically you buy e.l.f. brushes anywhere between one to five dollars. Obviously at the Dollar Tree, they're always going to be just the dollar. I have some very high-end expensive brushes and I find these ones to be like just as good for like the everyday basic, basic makeup that I'm doing. I'm not like out putting makeup on clients and like doing wed wedding makeup for like my everyday makeup. These brushes are super, super great. Another random beauty product that I highly recommend, they sell LA Colors, like the brand. Um, at the Dollar Tree, they have like all of it. They have eyeshadows and blushes and whatever. But the one thing that I think is really worth like making room in your uh, makeup bag for is their uh, moisturizing lip gloss. This is just like a really nice tinted lip gloss. I find the color wears really nice. I find it fades really naturally. It doesn't like leave your lips looking weird after two or three hours. Um, I really like these. I highly recommend them. Okay, on the topic of lips, this is just one of my holy grail beauty products period. And you can get it at the Dollar Tree and that is Blistex Lip Medics. Now let me just tell you about this, okay? I live in New England, and so every year, winter comes and it gets cold and my lips get very chapped, like super, super chapped. And I have tried, I am not exaggerating, every single chapstick option that there is. I've tried the high-end stuff, I've tried all the ones that everyone loves, all of them. I've tried literally every chapstick. And this stuff 
I am telling you will change your life because I've turned other people on to it and they've come back to me and they're like, what? why did I not know that this product existed? It's amazing. Your lips can be super, super crazy chapped, like so uncomfortable, so dry, and you put this on and it literally cures them. I'm just telling you, if you've never tried this, keep your eyes peeled. You can get it at the Dollar Tree, you can get it other places, but you might spend a little more than a dollar. This is like one of the best products ever. You gotta have it, Dollar Tree. All right, another product that I want to call out is their press on nails. Personally, I don't wear press on nails a lot just because like I'm busy like momming and DIYing most of the time. Um, but sometimes if you have like a nice event that you're going to and you just wanna have nice nails for the event, press on nails can be really great because they're quick, they're easy. I have heard a lot of women rave about the Dollar Tree press on nails. Actually my girl Sarah Jane who runs Chic on the Cheap, she talks about these all of the time. I will link her uh, channel down below. I actually think she did an entire video about Dollar Tree press on nails. So I'll find that and link it down below for you. Um, but she shares an awesome tip. She says, Lots of times these don't come with glue or the glue that they come with is not that great. And instead, if you go over to the hardware department, you can get the original super glue. It literally says on the package that it can be used for nails. It's safe for nail application. It's gonna give you a way better, way stronger hold. Um, and then you can pop these guys right on, have some nice little press on nails. Okay, very recently I discovered that they sell silicone brush cleaners at the Dollar Tree. Mine had like a little variety of different shapes and patterns. I am somebody who is so bad about washing my makeup brushes because I just get really lazy and I don't wanna do it, but these little silicone brushes make it so much easier. And they sell fancy silicone brush cleaners for like $15 at Ulta. You literally can get the same exact thing for a dollar. This works just as good at the Dollar Tree. And while you're there, go ahead and pick up some of the Dawn that you can get in the cleaning section literally one of the best things for cleaning your brushes get your brushes clean don't be lazy and put it off like i do this honestly makes me do it way more because it is so 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 much easier and more effective another little tip like i said with the makeup department i always like to give it a good scan over because you never know what you're going to find i find that most of the beauty department in general is the same way i always like to give it a little scan because sometimes you will find really nice more name brand products um, that are available there that aren't always there. For example, I find the Say Yes To masks there quite a bit. These Say Yes To masks I have seen at Target, they are typically like $2.99. Um, so when you see them at the Dollar Tree, snatch them up because you're getting them at a way better price. Yeah, on my last trip, I also found this Dove Nourishment Cream. These are usually a couple dollars at the pharmacy. And I like these because they're nice and small. They're great for throwing into a purse. Again, like I said, because we're getting into the winter months, it's really nice for keeping the hands moisturized without like having a big huge whatever all i'm saying is that the beauty section is constantly changing so it's always worth it to give it a good look over and see what you can find my final product is as you're making your way like through the dollar tree typically the last section is the kitchen section and it is to get yourself some baking powder while you were in like the baking section. And that is because baking soda is actually one of my favorite little secret ingredient beauty products. I actually just shared a uh, Instagram post about how I use this for deep cleaning my hair. Baking soda is really good at cleaning. You might have heard about using it for like household cleaner. It's a mild alkali, which means it's really great at just like dissolving dirt and grease, but it's also a micro exfoliant too. So it's really great for scrubbing. Um, but I also just like it as a regular exfoliant, sometimes adding just a tiny bit to like your body wash and using it as an exfoliant on dry skin. There are so many beauty hacks that you can use with baking soda. So go ahead and snatch some while you're at the Dollar Tree because a dollar for a bunch of baking soda, it's good to go. All right guys, but that does it. That is some of my favorite hacks and tips and products that you can get from the Dollar Tree to make you know, womanhood a little bit easier for you. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope that you will hit the subscribe button before you go. I post a new video every single Sunday and bonus videos every other Thursday. You can also follow along on Instagram for more like everyday life and motherhood. But as always, thank you so much for stopping by and watching. I hope you're having a fantastic day and I will see you all in my next video.